that it provides access for distance students to the classroom. And as an ex-distance student myself, I know that being made feel part of the university is really powerful and really important. And so the advent of learning management systems in general has allowed that reaching out to the distance students and improving distance education enormously, in my opinion. Um, I use Moodle, I suppose, in as many ways as I can think of. And so I have the standard upload the notes so it's available for the students. And I have the uploaded recordings of video lectures. But then I reach out and look for other resources. And I've written down a few of them here and I'd just like to use my notes for a minute. Um, some of the resources I provide are there to give the students relevance. So for example, there are links to news items or to short videos that put that week's learning into context. Especially for health professionals, there's a lot of, why do I have to know that? And so if I can explain to them that they need to understand how muscles contract because muscular dystrophy is actually a disease that affects the correct contraction of muscles, then it makes it more important to them to work on their, their material. I put up as many fun activities as I can, and this increases motivation. It um, causes the students to want to go and do some study that night and to, you know, get over the, gee, this is boring and it's a lot of hard work. Uh, Visualisations are really important and Moodle and the internet have just developed that particular aspect of teaching to the nth degree. Being able to put animations that are professionally done about how muscles contract is just something you can't do. I mean, I do this thing like this when I'm in my live lectures. This is how muscles contract, but it's not quite the same as being able to see different colours and having a nice flash when the energy is released and all of that sort of thing. I put up Camtasia clips that focus on very difficult topics, small parts of my lectures so that students can go back over them. So I suppose I'm creating summaries for them to help their revision. Um, Moodle is great for socialisation, although my students also have a, web, a um, Facebook page. But I always have a virtual coffee shop, as I call it, so that the distance students have the refectory where they can go and just talk to other students about, oh my gosh, what a week I've had and, and it interrupted my study and now I've got to get on with it. And as I said, Facebook is taking that over a bit and the students do like to be in their own private space. But it was useful before Facebook became popular. And finally, I do online tutorials for particular topics as I go through when they are relevant to that particular type of learning. And so um, Blackboard Collaborate link through to Moodle has also been really useful.